Alright, hi, my name is Andrew Goodwin, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the plugin manager in Cubase. So, say right here, this menu for the inserts where all your plugins are at, uh, this is the one that Cubase will just create for you. It's kind of nuts. Um, you know, it's just confusing, and, and you know, Cubase doesn't know which plugins that you love and you don't. Um, and But you can actually change that. If you go to Devices and then Plugin Manager, it'll bring up this window right here. And you can also rescan for all your plugins right here. If you add a new plugin, a lot of times you'll have to come in here to do that. But over here on the right, you'll notice all these folders. Um, right now, it's on the default one, which is the one that Keybase creates. Um, but if you come right here, you can add a new one. So you have a couple options of how to do that. Um, I made one earlier, just called me. <laughs> And what you can do is you can add different folders in here like that. It'll ask you to name them. Um, so I'll just say EQ2, for instance. So that's there, right there, EQ2. And if you come over here, you can now, um, I'm just going to add a random plugin. I know it's not an EQ. All right. <laughs> So you can drag the plugin from that list over there to the folder, and now it's in the folder. So, I mean, you can make you know a folder of EQs, a folder of compressors, or vintage compressors, um, however you want to categorize it, or if you want to use the manufacturer names. Um, and then what you do is over here on this arrow, you this is where you select it. So if I select this one and go over here, you know, the menu's going to look like that. But if I select mine, the one I made, um, sorry, my hand is shaking a little bit, it's tired. All right, so that one right there is the one I made, and it's a little bit more compact. To me, it makes sense, so whatever works for you. So when I come over here now, under Plugin Manager, it's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer looking to me. It's easier for me to figure out like what I want by the category I'm looking for. Um, you can also do this, and that's basically it, it's pretty simple. Um, the other thing you can do is, there's another tab up here for VST instruments. So you can do the same, you know, thing with your, your VST instruments. You'll notice default is kind of nuts. Actually, I have some new ones I've got to add in. And then you go to Composer, the one I made, and it's just a lot simpler. Um, makes my head hurt less. So if you bring up, say, like the... VST Instruments, or to add one, you'll notice that's the new one, and it's got the name that you named the folder. So that's basically it. It's really simple, um, but it really does help workflow, um, kind of helps keep things neat and clean, and you know allows you to find things quicker. Uh, thanks. Bye.